Good morning, friends. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Good morning. I am so glad we get to be together during this time and that I get to share this story with you, the Easter story. How many times in your life do you think you've heard the Easter story? How familiar are you with the Easter story? Maybe you've heard it once or twice. Maybe you've heard it a few times here and there. Maybe you've heard it a hundred times. Or you feel like you've heard it hundreds and hundreds and millions of times. And that is okay. No matter how comfortable you are with the Easter story, whether you've heard it once or twice, or whether you've heard it a million times, that's why I love Easter. Is because there's always something new to learn no matter how many times you've heard it. It's not just a comfortable story that gets repeated every year. We get to always learn new things. But it is still a good story that we get to repeat every year. And we can find comfort in the joy that comes with this story. This morning we're going to talk about the Easter story and what we learn from it. So maybe you're very familiar with it or maybe you're not. But here's some of the basis. Here's how it begins. Jesus' friends, some women, were going up to visit Jesus' tomb. Now at this point in our story, this is where the Easter story begins, but the story was much different a few days ago. Jesus has died. Jesus is in a tomb. And the women are very sad. They're going to visit their dead friend, their dead savior. And that is sad. Their expectations, if you remember last week, we talked about expectations versus reality. Their expectations of what they were going to find at the tomb was that their mourning would continue, the sadness would continue. They would prepare Jesus's body. But when the women got there, the reality of what they found was so much different. So much, so vastly different, they couldn't even imagine it. I'm going to go ahead and read this story to you. I want you to listen. Let's listen to this joyous story together. It was early in the morning on the third day after Jesus died. The sky was pink and red with the first light of the sun. The women didn't notice the sky. They hurried to the cave that contained Jesus' body. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James, led the way. Two others, Salome and Johanna, carried the spices to rub on the body of Jesus. They had a job to do. When the tomb of Jesus came into sight, they froze. Oh no, they had forgotten about the huge stone that sealed the opening to the cave. How would they move it? The women kept going to the cave anyway. As they came closer, the women could see that the stone had already been rolled away. They peeked inside. Ooh, it was dark in there. And brr, it was cold in there. Drip, drop. It was damp in there. What? It was empty in there. Jesus was gone. An angel appeared in a sparkling white clothes. The glow from the angel brightened even the darkest corners of the cave. The women shielded their eyes from the blinding light. Do not be afraid, the angel said. Jesus isn't here. This is a place for the dead. Jesus is alive. Hurry, the angel said. Go tell the disciples. The women did not delay. They ran to tell Jesus' friends what they had seen and heard. Oh, Mary bumped into a man and tripped and fell at his feet. Wait, she knew those feet. A familiar hand reached out to help her. Wait, she knew that hand. She looked up, and yes, she knew that smile. It was Jesus. Hello, friends, Jesus said. Jesus was really alive. The women hugged his feet and shouted with joy. Go tell the others the good news that I am alive, Jesus said. I will meet them in Galilee. 
I cannot wait to see them again. The women had a new job to do. They had to tell everyone that Jesus was alive. Did you know that women were the first ones to find Jesus' empty tomb? Did you know that women were the first one to see the risen Jesus? Did you know that Jesus' friends didn't recognize him right away? When they first saw the risen Christ, they didn't recognize him. It's hard for us to imagine that no one could recognize someone they were so close with, but that's what happened. Maybe you did know these things. Maybe you didn't. There's always something new to learn in the Easter story. And whether you're hearing these new things for the first time or you've heard these a million times, the main focus of the Easter story is always the same. Jesus died for us. And that is something to feel so much joy about, that Jesus is risen. Jesus died for us and he rose again. Jesus is not dead. He is very much alive. And that's the joy this story brings. Jesus was gone, but Jesus is alive now. And Jesus died for us. Jesus died for all of us. That is the main focus of this Easter story. There is no one that Jesus didn't die for. Whether you go to church every single week or you don't go to church very often. Whether you like cats over dogs. Jesus died for everyone. No matter what you look like or what kind of clothes you wear or who you love or how you express yourself. Jesus died for everyone for all of us, for the whole world. And that is something to be joyous about. On Easter Sunday, one thing that the church usually does, not just our church, not just St. Luke's, but the Christian church, one thing we do is we share in this joy together by sharing in this message, Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed. So usually one person would say, Christ is risen. And you, other people would respond, you would respond, Christ is risen indeed. So let's try it. I'm going to say Christ is risen. And I want you to respond, Christ is risen indeed. All right? Christ is risen. Alleluia, friends. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Can you say it with me? Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia, friends. I am so glad I get to share this message with you. Happy Easter. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for Jesus's life. We praise you today and always. Amen. Thank you for sharing this time with me, for exclaiming that Jesus has risen with me. Happy Easter, friends. Jesus has died for you and he has rose again. Jesus has conquered the grave and he loves us. There is no love stronger than the love that comes from our Savior. I'll see you guys soon.